Danny Flexen for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by Steffi Ball, um, trainer and manager, of course, of Terry Harper, among others. Um, currently in isolation, not because people yeah. don't like him. <laughs> he's very popular. <laughs> but I'm not sure. You had your COVID test earlier today. It's not the first one you've had, but but does it get easier over time? No, with the big occasion, so you do get you do get nervous. We're just, I'm obviously just in his room now, uh, on a, in on his own, waiting for results. So sweaty palms. Are we in? Are we out? You can imagine big occasions. We obviously saw um, Terry last time at fight camp against Natasha yeah. Jonas. Tough, grueling yeah. fight, but because of how it went and some of the reception afterwards, was it the best thing to get her back out as soon as possible to, to kind of, you know, get that behind her and get back out there? Uh, not looked at it that way, Dan. Uh, it was more uh, more of the the WBC uh, s- sent out the order for it. Uh, th- there's, I, I know everybody's got their take on it, this what happened, that happened. But the matter of the fact, well, when we signed for the uh, Eva Wallstrom fight, uh, we did if if one if one we did have a mandatory to face which was Thunders, uh, or we told what uh, Thunders. So we always know about Thunders, and then uh, we we almost as first events were Thunders. Uh, everything what agreed it was Thunders, and and Sky really wanted to do the Jonas fight, uh, all British world title fight made for a made for a a great event for them for Sky Sports. So, so we agreed to it. We we had no fear of about the job or anything. So, thunders were always there. So maybe it will just, you know, Eddie just kind of says we've got to fight thunders next. It's going to be ordered, blah blah blah, and we've just cracked straight on with that. So, to to be fair, I look at it. Terry is so young, and this is a fourth fight within a twelve month period now. All world title fights starting with Vivian Olbenoff. And to be fair, they've not they've not. I mean, albeit she did a great, great work and made easy work of Olbenoff and Wallstrom. And then obviously they ding the barnstormer with probably arguably fight of the year with Jonas. Uh, she's had a, it's been it's been a long 12 months considering we're in a pandemic and things. She's probably, I think it's a fact that she might even be the most active world champion. Uh, this this is a a second world champ a world title fight actually during the pandemic and and obviously four world title fights in twelve months she will be more than ready for the rest after this uh, but I think she just gets away with it she's so young she, she you know she lives the life so I think we've got kind of got away with it in that sense were you at all disappointed that it wasn't the Jonas rematch or is it more that Tanders while a very good opponent it won't attract the same level of scrutiny the same level of um, coverage perhaps as the Jonas fight and maybe that's a good thing no I think listen what you what you get is <laughs> boxing it's like there's a lot of social media that that's a big, a big nowadays it's not like it was when I were fighting where Johnny Rushton would give me a call and we're just in you know we just had the boxing news and things it's like boxing's full of opinions everybody's got an opinion you me everybody hundreds of thousands of fake accounts on Twitter sure. Uh, hundreds of uh, thousands of fake accounts on YouTube videos. Everyone's got an opinion. Uh, half in it is 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 they're there just to to just to tarnish, just to troll, and and some of them have uh, 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 some opinions you'll take on board, and and some you won't. Uh, so yeah, it's it's kind of that, that's that's social media is a big kind of thing. But you know, sometimes you can get down and you you see a lot of things, but. The biggest thing thing I've learned to myself on back of this, uh, on back of the, the experience in in fight camp and stuff, I distance myself a lot more from social media. I don't really get involved with anything. I don't really watch anything anymore. I'm, I mean, I've learned a lot myself about myself and about the situation. Uh, but yeah, I'm going off a bit, a little, little bit on the question that you asked there. Aren't I? <laughs> but yeah, I'll just, just start going on about social media. It's an interesting point you brought up. I mean, you're, you've been around a long time and obviously things have changed in terms of social media's influence. But Terry, as you pointed out, she's still very young. 
how has yeah. it been quite tough on her at times the social media reaction yeah, yeah she, she yeah she gets bullied mate she she gets bullied and she comes off she don't she she refuses to go on twitter uh i know before joe well i, I know you'll do the twitter and that will just me yeah i don't i don't terry's got a management company that 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 now run a twitter she'll log on after a fight and she'll she'll have a bit of fun with friends and 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 a, and a proper supporters but it's sad when you've got a young woman that that has to log out a social media because everything that she does post post 90 percent of it becomes negative eight and things and it's sad now what <laughs> I feel for Terry. It's been hard because, like, when I when I signed her over or or wanted her to turn pro, I knew she was a special ta talent. And you don't miss. You've been on my social media for many years. You've been a friend in boxing circles for for many years. I've 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 jumped on the the rooftops and shouted and screamed and 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 done everything I possibly can to get here with Terry. I've done everything I can. All I've done is my job. I've never dissed anybody, never never put anyone down. I've just stood, sung the praises of, of the young girl that I believe that's a special talent. Now, the only thing that she... she's She had 16 amateur fights as a child, no senior fights. And because I've screamed and shouted that much and she's come in and landed on this big deal with Sky Sports and, and Matchroom, it's almost now I've put somebody there for eight and sometimes it gets me down and sad because I love this young woman. We're from the same. We've, I've, I've worked with her since she's a child, and and you see a lot of personal things. And it's sad. All all I've done is use the powers of social media to, to get the young lass noticed. I've had, I've got no TV. I've not done everything, mate. This is how dedicated I am. When I did the IBO World Title and Ryan Rhodes helped me, I I, I gambled fifty thousand pound, mate. Jeez. Fifty. I, I gambled fifty thousand pound to put that event on for t knowing and, and and having faith in Terry. How many others are doing this? You know, you, you know what, what what investment has anybody like like done done like this? And 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 you know she's 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 a deserving champion. Uh, she deserves everything she gets. She works very hard, and the kid can really fight. She's the real deal. But the only thing she's missing is experience, and maybe because the lack of and the debt for women's boxing, she, it's hard to get the experience, and she's learning on job. Now you, we we go on and, and you you we, you go on about it, or we mentioned Jonas. We always know how hard the Jonas fight was made. She's had no disrespect from us. We get into saying things, and you know, I was disappointed how Sky put me and Joe up there on the last week, me versus Joe, because it's not about that. I, listen, mate, I'm a fighter. It's about the fighter. I don't scream and 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 you know, I use my social media. To, to the extent what I can but what, top and bottom it's about the fight it was never about me or Joe or, or people want to perceive it or whatever I'm a good person and all I do is graft and work very hard for any any fighter that I manage and I've just stumbled across this this young girl we've produced something that's quite spectacular people are interested now now it should get she gets a lot of eyes all on us and and because of one fight, with Jonas, it's almost as if everything's backfired now. She gets eight, she gets, oh, she didn't win this fight, she didn't win that. Like I say, everybody's got an opinion. They let both of them girls left their hearts in ring, and you know, and it's like, what can you say? What can you do? It's social media, isn't it? Do you think it's disproportionate though? Because it was a very close fight, and you see fights that are quite clearly, I don't want to use the word robbery because that implies <coughs> corruption, but are quite clearly been judged the wrong way and maybe don't get as much criticism as a fight it, it, it's my, yeah it, it, listen right i've watched that fight there's nobody watched that fight more times than me and watched it with the sound off and i it was a fair result mate i don't care what anybody says how many times have you watched it without the sound now it, it, you know J natasha at 36 year old was a voluntary defense it wasn't a robbery. You're going to agree with me. That fight was not a robbery. No, it was a very close fight. I can't remember how it scored it, it now, but it was yeah, very close. It, it could have gone either way. If it, and, and the scores show that. Same again. This video will get uh, all trolls all over it or whatever they end. All, all our won't. videos get plenty of trolls. Don't, don't take it personally. <laughs> we're we're getting famous. But, <laughs> but what, you, what you've got, it, it's it's like the... the uh, so... 
Joe done a great job. He come in that week and he and he and he hammered everybody. He hammered Adam Smith. He, he hammered uh, Macklin. Proper hammered him, and he were getting a lot of socials. And really, what what I, when I look back, he got Jonas a living play, playing field. Every jab Jonas for a week, great jab, great right hand. There were ten rounds in that fight. They come to our corner, and Teddy's the WBC champion at world with the with with the contract, the own fighter. They come to our corner one round out of ten. Uh, so I believe Joe had done a great job, and I respect Joe. He's somebody I've looked up to for years, you know. And uh, he got he got his center level playing field, and and which which were great. But when you when you look back on the fight, and you think, look at you've got Dazon. Different commentary. They had it. They had it even. Couldn't split them. You had ESPN uh, in Hispanic. Couldn't split them. Ninety-five, ninety-five. But what you got was Adam Smith, who I respect highly, and Macklin, who I re also respect highly, telling everybody at home their opinion, how it, who's winning. Then all us at home, who's listening to that, with four cans in his hand, and sat enjoying it, just being a you know. We've been told who's winning the fight. Uh, so at end of, at end of the fight, you, 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 viewers at home are, are, are being told who's won the fight, and you've got you've got the commentary had an opinion of of what they had an opinion on. I mean, look look what happened only a, a few weeks ago uh, with Richardson. Yeah. Now 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 that were a robbery, wasn't it? That's that's where you go. I, even how how split? How did you see the Selby fight and and the Cambosa fight? Out of if 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 you've got an opinion on it? Yeah, I can't remember the exact score. I had Cambosos winning. I didn't think it was you know wide wide decision. I mean, that, yeah, saying. and 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 I've got I've got so, and some people think Selby won it. It's like what is box, boxing subjective? And I'd seen afterwards the war. Uh, Boxing, boxing writers, writers. Oh, Terry's gave every interview going, and headlines were robbery. Natasha Jonas, Je Terry Harper versus Natasha Jonas won a robbery, and and the, and the, and and it's like kind of outline how great them ladies performed. What 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 a fight they, they put on for ten rounds, not one, not two, not three. Left it all in the ring for viewers at home, and and I'll tell you what it what what, what it has done. It's it's been a great advert. And this event's probably running on back of female fight. What what's happened at fight camp? Katie Taylor, the trailblazer, uh, same again main event here. And you've got Terry back out and uh, Rachel who, who put up a great performance. So obviously women's boxing's in demand by Sky. They're putting this fantastic all women triple header. So people are watching, people are tuning in. It's interest. You you see a lot going on about. The, the the women's purses and stuff like that, but everybody's talking about female sport. You've for, you've called me for an interview. We're talking about female boxing. Twelve months ago, there were none of this. I can remember when Terry. Twelve months ago, were none of this. Terry has now. I'm, like, we all know that Kate is the trailblazer. She's the one. She's all paved the way for all this to happen, and and that's fact. But 12 months ago, Terry's just opened a door into British, uh, and I don't think like people realise it, but since Terry's been a pro, it's been an all-new ball game. You've got Americans calling out Terry, who probably didn't even know who she was. You've got everybody in Europe calling out Terry. You've got, it's almost, you know, they all know that Terry is now the money fight as well. And that is a fact. Uh, Terry's got... Terry's contracted with, with Sky and Matchroom and got the big deal and, and, and she's the money fight. So she's got to understand and, and, and grasp that you can't take anything personal, Terry, when all these are calling you out. It's because you're going to get him a payday 10 times more than they would go and fight on Joe Boggs's event. So there's a lot comes with territory. And, and at the beginning of the conversation, when we touched that Terry, Terry's just a baby, mate. She's learning on the job. Look what she's achieving at, at, at 20, she's just 24 turn last week. Three years as a professional from, from that girl, 16 amateur fights as a junior, never been in an hard fight. She's never had an hard spa, never mind an hard fight. She'd never had an hard pro fight. Eva Wallstrom were quite easy without being disrespectful, but it was it, what an hard fight. Yeah. Obanoff, one-sided. What She'd never been in an hard fight. 
And then all of a sudden, in this pandemic, we get drawn onto Natasha, who, who's not shown as a pro uh, because she's not herself and not being in an hard fight. But she got all the respect from us. We probably, when I look back, we did too much because, uh, like, going off topic again, but like the, the 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 amount of experience Natasha had had at world level amateurs, you don't go and win everything by not being able to fight. She, she's been a great fighter. We took that fight for Sky TV to make them happy uh, and what a fight it was. But uh, I'm running off a little bit again, and I get carried away sometimes. But but yeah, it's like like lacking the experience that Teddy's got. So I think, and and the fact that come with a big main event like that for a 23 year old in only 10 fights, I think. She must have been doing two Zoom calls a day for four weeks. The phone didn't stop for her. It was just so when you when I look back and and it was so draining. We were in a pandemic. We had nothing, nothing else. We didn't we didn't have any female sparring. Not one female spar. You got Jason playing around, and I'm the editing in a clip with Jay, with Terry just plunking in one and pouring it out because you've got no else. You we all know how the game works, and we've got no edge. So she had no female sparring. Uh, we were on the wait. We're on the wait for weeks because what could we do with pandemic? Excuse to get out and out or to exercise. We couldn't do anything else. We're nowhere to go. So we overcook the exercise and randomly Terry's running 15 miles a day when something that she's never done. We went We went on wait. In fact, we had a bit of banter about it because we went on holiday cooks a, a couple of days after and she, and she goes, featherweight, anyone? To, she did a tweet to wait, world champion. And it was just the fact that she was... She was still nine stone six on holiday, two pounds over the super featherweight division, uh, because we 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 got a sense that small. Normally she put normally Teddy can go up to ten stone after the fight done done correct and and everything. So there's, there's a lot, and you, we never stop learning. It. It's like you know I, I'm learning every day, and, and uh, the only the, the, like I say that like I say I've I've done my job now. Teddy Teddy's here. I've done my job. I've beat it. I don't need to, as you've noticed, it's been a lot more quiet on my socials. I've no need to scream and shout anymore. She's got, she's got what, what we could ever dream for. And we'll just put the work in now. Put the work in. We've, we've, we've added a strength and conditioner with us now when it were all me. So that, that relaxes me. You know, it takes Terry away from me on that side of thing. I know she's fit, strong. That job's done. I can fully concentrate on the boxing. So that's been a big help. But yeah, mate, like I've seen, it's been a roller coaster. We've gone from Oban off to Wallstrom, from Wallstrom to Natasha, now from Natasha into Thunders. And and do you know what, mate? I've, we've never had a chance to like have a reset button, have a think what's gone off. We've got that opponent, then it's then it's Wallstrom. Right, let me watch Wallstrom. Right, we've, we've got to box Wallstrom on back foot. You, you, we've never had for two years, all I've done every session was improving as 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 a coach. We, we're just working on new things all the time. But when you've got an opponent, you're working on all your fighting, a game plan out to beat them. And I could probably overcook that kind of stuff. But listen, mate, everything happens for a reason. And that's what I tell me, son. The positives are that 23-year-old showing in one of the fights of the year, sh showing the qualities, went in with a fantastic fighter who we all thought didn't have it anymore. Uh, Natasha turned the clocks back but now what does everybody want to see they want to see a rematch <laughs> pay them both what they deserve it, you know it, it, it's now it's now a, uh, a main event it's now a, an arena fight and, and and that's well done to them two, two ladies for, for for being in that kind of fight that everybody's talking about women's boxing now what back of that let me ask you, before we move on to Tanders, obviously that's a fight that deserves a lot of attention. But I just want to yeah. ask, you mentioned Joe Gallagher there. In a lot of ways, you two are quite similar in that he's very much for his fighters. You know, he'll do anything to push their profiles up. But it seems to have found himself in a bit of a pickle at the moment um, because yeah, of some comments he's made it? on social media or on video. Um, do you have some sympathy with him in the current situation? Do you know what, mate? I, you can't you can't comment on it. Like I say, I've got a lot of respect for Joe. We've had a little bit of two and forth on on a couple of tweets in in past. But do you know what? I I've had, 
you know, he was very respectful when he came into changing rooms after with Terry. I've even helped him sparring one of his cruiserweights when for, we, we one of my fighters just before all this pandemic. And and all I can say is I've got nothing but respect for Joe. Like you say, he's only fighting, he's only fighting his corner for his fighters. But at the same time, you know, I don't know the ins and I. So I like look, look, watching a video here or an interview there. But uh, there is a big pandemic, and. Uh, the monies won't be the same with crowds. It seems like that, you know. Uh, I mean, the comments we win Natasha and stuff like that. Are just that's just his passion. I think Joe's a good bloke, deep at heart, and just passionate for his fighters. And I'm sure it all come good. It's just a, it's just winning a bad time, and sometimes you have to accept what's on the table. Because if not, you're not going to accept it. Then the next person will. So now you've got Kathy Tanders who. Yeah, we don't know loads about. Well, I'm sure you do, but I don't know loads yeah. about her. I fought, watched a fight with Rachel Ball, which is easy to get hold of. So I'm sure a lot of people have watched that. But just <laughs> seems like a different dynamic from the Jonas fight. Maybe more of a technical chess match in offing rather than a war, if you like. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a completely different fight, and it's been it's been nice not to have your head thrashed with uh, a southpaw for a few months. But yeah, uh, Fanders is a proper fight, and and that's why I mean. One thing he passed on on the build up to the last fight, there were you know uh, Terry and unifications, Matt Schumer signed Brodnick, there were this, there were that, big plans happening, and you get carried away with it all. And that's one of the things that that that, that I've learnt. Like I say, I can hold my hands up, and I'm not I'm not the finished article as a manager or a coach or anything. We learn every day. You you'll learn some yourselves, and and, and I believe that. But. Uh, We've not looked past standards on this one, not to spoke about anything next, a, a, a Natasha rematch, not done anything, because Katharina Thanders is a, is a real fighter. She's a live wire. Uh, she's genuine top 10, undefeated. She's hungry, a European champion, a WBC interim champion. She's earned mandatory status, and she can really fight, and, and she is very different to, uh, to uh, Natasha. I think she's uh, rugged. Uh, she likes to fight. She likes to get in trenches. She's she throws a vicious right hand. She's always trying to look for that right hand over the top. They'll think Terry's suspect because she's been hit with a couple of right hands. Uh, it's got all the ingredients for a great fight. Uh, I'm just hoping. I'm hoping that Terry listens to me in this one and and uh, does that that I actually ask her to do. And uh, yeah, it's a proper fight, mate. It's not, you know, it, it, it's one that she's excited about, but it's one I think where Teddy could come good now, like put to bed what happened in the last fight, put to bed the doubts, and I think she could look a million dollars. It's the, you know, she's 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 got the platform. It's a big occasion. The the pressure will be with Thunder. She's come away from home for the first time, fighting away from home. That obviously there's 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 no crowd, so she's going to miss out on an hostile reception. But you know, it, it's she's up against it with Terry. That they'll they'll be aware of that. They'll 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 come. They'll give it a go. They're not going to try and box on the back foot. Terry's got to get back to what she's doing best. Use her long limbs. She's got long limbs. She's got a, a great physique. She's strong. And uh, let's get back to boxing and not toe to toe having a war with blood all over. Uh. Because of the kind of comparative lack of depth in female boxing compared to the male side of the sport, we have seen some mismatches in female fights. There was one yeah. particular one that was highlighted not too long ago yeah. on uh, a US show. So yeah. Is Terry maybe a little bit unlucky in terms of what division she's in? Because there doesn't seem to be a lot of easy fights at world level. At Super no, Speedway. I think, I think, I think it, you can't, it's probably the best division. You probably can now. You can go on bo box reckon that the the top ten take a couple out could all beat each other, mate. It, it, it's without a doubt the most competitive division. It's probably one of the. It's probably kind of the welterweight in males where we, this is women's nap size, so you'll get more. And it, 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 do you know? Do you know what I mean? I can remember. There's probably a few hundred welterweights or over hundred male welterweights, and you get it's probably the division that women are most uh, natural size. So it's a red hot division. 
there's some great fights out there for all them women. That are all the four champions of of a high quality. Uh, it's an hard division, and like I say, Terry's got the size to go up weights. That's his plan. We we'd like to go up weights uh, and fight. And, and and she's only young. She's got she's got a long time in the game, and uh, that's if she wants to be in the game for a long time. But you've got you're going to get youngsters coming through as well, ch chomping at the bit. Remember all these now. I think he, like all these champions are in the thirties. Uh, even Maya now, I think Maya's 30, who just, who just beat Bronica. You know, they'll all have aspirations, what they want to do. And and Terry and, and, and Terry's just 24, just a novice, a WBC queen. So you can see why they all want her. And they'll all want, her, they'll all want her even more because of the Jonas fight. But Jonas, well, good. She come and brung it, mate. And Jonas has always been world class. Uh, when, when, you, when you do... Put it to it. It's just the fact that Terry's been promoted that well back by Matchroom and, and almost is in people's eyes. We've got the next best thing here a lot coming along with Katie and, and stuff, and everyone else has got gone kind of under the radar. Jonas were always going to be in our fight, mate. She's a cracking fighter, and, 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 and hopefully the fight will happen again and, and, and she'll get the, 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 the payday that she's wanting for. I mean, I've got no idea on them kind of things. and yeah, it's uh, women's boxing is really exciting, and what one thirty division is hot. It's a hot division. You mentioned earlier <laughs> about um, paying the fighters what they're worth, and that seems to have become, I think you mentioned it, a bit of a hot topic at the moment. Yeah, it seems it to has, be two yeah. kind of extreme sides of the argument. One being that until female boxing or particular female boxers build up a high enough profile and a demand for their services, they won't get paid anywhere near as much as the men. But the flip side of that is, are the female boxers being used more during the pandemic because it's the equivalent of cheap labour for a lot of promoters? Well, I think I think cheap labour, cheap labour is a bit harsh. Let let and then and it's like I did this tweet the other day. You're going to get people moaning about pay. I travelled to uh, Scotland with Robbie Barrett to fight Scott Cardell for ten thousand quid. Like, what would have happened if we didn't take it? The next person, the next person goes and takes it. Brian, I'm, I'm not shouting on, I'm not shouting up the roof, uh, rooftops. Oh, terrible pay for a, a British title. We've gone for opportunity. I've had Jason Cunningham go to a small old show and fight for a Commonwealth title for four grand. Why? Because we know we could win. And then he gets his payday after that. Course, it's yeah. the gambles we're taking. So it's all right saying women are getting paid this or getting paid that. What about the men that are not getting pay very well what about the old I'm a, I'm a small old promoter what about all these guys that are having to go on and sell tickets for pittance that's not being talked about or, or whatever else and uh, you, you're getting it's like you're getting your commercial value when 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 Terry turned pro I think the, the like I'm not going to go into figures it's not for me to do that but Terry were getting paid for an IBO world title what Gavin McDonald were getting for a European title so Gavin's Gavin's fought for a European title for the same money Terry had got for an IBO. What what? Uh, and then when they realised the numbers that she can do, well, we sold a few thousand tickets at Arena for the first fight uh, at Arena, and it's like the interest now that she gets on social media and things like that. So I think I think girls are getting paid probably what's there, what 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 what's there, or what's the offer. It's, down to the manager to try and get everything they possibly can but I can't go to match them when I offered when I were offered for Robbie but what 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 have I what stock have I got to go up and say now I want 20 grand but what's Cardell getting paid it's not like that is it it's not you know I, I understand that there's the depth small women's boxing is just on the rise now I'm sure all them fighters that are stepping in the ring on Saturday night are getting paid what they're happy with. Otherwise, don't fight. It, it's that simple, isn't it, really? We are, I mean, it seems there's a lot going on about Natasha. If she's, if she's uh, not getting what she thinks she's not getting, what she thinks she deserves, then she's got the right to stand down. But you can't go calling shots and saying, I want this, I want that. We are in a pandemic and things. And... and the money, the money, it's how you look at it. The money, like I say, it's all right saying the money is cheap labour for women, but 
what about the men that's 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 fighting for very little or, or not as much as what people seem to think? You watch a British title fight on TV, you think, oh, I'm, he must be getting 20, 30 grand. No, mate, we're, we're travelling up Scotland with three weeks' notice for 10 grand. What do you do? Because if you say no, the next kid's going to take it, you know, and, and like I say, Jason went, so you can, I think you can argue on that all your debate should I say you can debate on that on, on, on financial side or whatever but at the minute you know Terry's the ice now the ice paid box that I've worked with so she, she's getting her deserve so I've done my job I've beaten you know she's won a WBC title everybody's interested so I've just I've worked hard to get where we are maybe uh I don't know what Rachel Ball's getting paid. If she goes and wins that WBA world title, the next pay will be, you know, we, we're all taking gambles. And and Kate is the trailblazer for all these women. I, she won't have turned pro and been getting 100 grand a fight. She'll have had to work into it. You, you know what I mean? I, I took Gavin McDonald, well, you know, he's boxed for world titles. And, and, and so I know what kind of money is, is in and around there for it. And Kate is now showing the way that you can go and get big purses. Terry Harper can fill out of arena an arena. Uh, so so you know the demands there. Whereas when I first turned pro, the, the, you were treading on eggshells and we took what, what the offer was. And it and it's turned out well for us. But everybody starts somewhere. But if you know, what 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 does people expect for a for a world title fight? Remember that it's like you've got to take a lot. One is 10 two minute rounds, minutes rest, and the depth. It's like they ain't no British titles, they ain't no European, well, there is European titles, but the deaths that week. So look at how Rachel Ball were fighting Ebony Bridges. It's like, what had Ebony done without sounding not disrespectful and it's not singling out? I'm giving you an example. She's a five fight novice. Uh, what 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 do they think they're coming to the table and demanding like 50 grand purses or, or whatever else? It's like, we can pay this, blah, blah, blah. It's probably. Uh, you know, the, the, for without sounding disrespectful, it's be, some world title fights could possibly be his title fights, if, if you get me. And just the depth of women's sport. I mean, I see a lot tweeting, let's get a British title for women. It's impossible. Yeah. How can you have a British title? The, the, the 20 fighters in each division, who's going to fight for it? How much is it going to cost the board to make another British title? So they, they can't have a British title as of the minute. That's years, uh, years to come. Uh, they might be able to do do something else if they got the heads together, but it's just uh, to stop it, to to waste international title fights. But we, we're light years away from that kind of thing, uh, so the money's not going to not going to be quite the same as as a Canelo versus a Smith or whatever else. Where all eyes are watching, you you you've, you've got. It just is what it is, and I, and and I'll be honest. Match number been very fair with me from day one with Terry. They've always been respectful, and she fights on a Friday, gets on a Saturday, gets paid on the Monday. That I've always been more than happy for what she's getting paid. Like I say, at her first fight, well, what Gavin McDonald were getting for a European title fight. So you know, it's that that's where we're at, and and I think the more the, look what Match are trying to do here. They're trying to get all eyes on women's boxing. And and I think they do a great job, and I think Sky are doing a great job promoting it. And it's great news now that it's going to be on all platforms. So people on Facebook, the average Joe, anybody can. I think we've all got Facebook. Whoever's got a smartphone, so it's going to have be access. And then all this week we're going to be talking about it. All next week we're going to be talking about. It. They're doing the damn best to promote women's boxing. So rather than like be diogrity to it, let's go with the flow. Let's let there's something happening here. And it's called women's boxing, and, and I'm very confident. Before my time's done, it will no longer be called women's boxing. It'll have its own just boxing. The WBC have already took women's off the belt, so it's just you know boxing. And I think we're going in the great direction. We've got some great fighters leading the way, uh, Katie and Terry, and the, the American Shields and Mayer, uh, Jonas and. You've got young fighters coming through in the amateurs, Sandy Ryan, all these girls will be world champions. And it's an exciting time. And I, and I believe that in time, it'll just be boxing. And I think and I think Matchroom should be proud because we won't even be here with, without them giving a push. And Katie's, it's Katie who's opened the door for us all. Yeah, I agree. And I think the 
triple header. That's got to be the first female triple header in UK boxing yeah. history. I haven't checked that, but I can't imagine there's ever been one. Certainly not in my lifetime. And I wanted to ask you, because you said before how integral Terry's been to the growth of female boxing. You must feel a sense of personal pride as well that this is happening and that it's going to be free to all non-subscribers as well. Yeah. Like I say, it's like I've put the last three years of my life I've gave to Terry, gave her every last breath to a point where some of my fighters all think, what what work can you use? Like probably I'm doing too much with her and not enough with others. But I see the crest of the wave. I see where it's all leading. I you know I'm, I strongly believe that Terry's Terry's in a life changing uh, situation where I can sit down with my wife in a few years and and just sit and look back and think, look what we've done. That young girl were from Denny, that council house. She were in a chip shop. She's got a place abroad. She's got her own homes. And I can sit back and think, I've done that. Me. <clears throat> and uh, she makes me so proud. And she's a special person, not 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 just a fighter as well. She's that there's that there's a lot of people interested in Terry, who she stands for, kind of personality she is. She's a lovely young woman. And uh, you know, I'm I'm blessed to be having this journey with her. Do you see her as kind of a, a close friend? Do you see her as a daughter figure? Or how, what's your relationship like? Yeah, well, obviously, we had Terry in the gym since she was 11 years old. And because we're from the same village, it's not like we're in a town. We're in a village with hundreds of people. It's like, you, you know, you know who's in what shop, you know, you know, you know everybody's business. So uh, she, uh, Terry's just 24 years old. My daughters are 21 and 19. So it's like, you do become, you see him, she's she's never grown to me. She's she's still that 11-year-old kid that's been in the gym since she's a child, so you become fond. Uh, she's fond with me. My me, me wife lo lo loves her and looks at, lo looks out for her. And we're a close, we're close, and it's special to, to, like I say, to be doing this this thing that's happening and doing so. Yeah, you know, it's... It, it's, it's more than your average, the, the situation you find sitting with your average fighter because it's definitely different with a female. You're more protected. Uh, I probably do look at her like your daughter and protect her like, like your daughter. And you you love them. You know, you, 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 we, I'm with them. Uh, we've got our own gym. It's a commercial gym. So my wife, my wife manages his gym and we're all together all day, every day. And, and it's like, you become a family. I probably spend more time with her than, than she does her own family. So you go fond of them and, and, and you know, you, you only want best for them. Assuming the uh, test all comes back negative and everything, what will you be doing for the rest of the week leading up to the fight night? Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow's uh, media day, I believe. So I think this is the first interview I've done. I think Danny from fight camp, we just wanted to reset and have a bit of a rest. Feeling tired now, but yeah, long day tomorrow. Long day tomorrow. We've got a couple of, and then we'll just be able to get stuck into a couple of gym sessions over the next couple of days. But like I say, weight's good. Uh, every, everything's good. So yeah, it'll be, be a busy few days. I've experienced this now. Terry's experienced this. We're going to enjoy it now. We're going we're gonna to get, the plan is to get out a lot more, not be secluded in your rooms. You know, it's almost like I've never been in prison, but you can imagine what people <laughs> feel like in prison. I'm actually appreciating this call, to be fair. Uh, <laughs> but, but yeah. It's my you sunny know. disposition and charm. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's either that, <laughs> or uh, I could be taking my clothes off like um, uh, Billy Nelson last week. <laughs> <or what>? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, do you think I'm sexy, Danny? <laughs> My well, first question, it was been. off camera, but my first question was, are you naked? I've got my boxers on. <laughs> all right, well, that's all right then. Thinking, could he have, I wonder if he had his slippers on. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Socks on, <laughs> lights off. But yeah, we've got a busy week and we're going to get out and about a lot more. Apparently there's table tennis and a bit of darts and things to do in a game, games room and stuff. So going to get out, get busy. We know what we've got to do. We're, we're eyes on the job this week and May. It's a big task. It's not a foregone conclusion. This anybody who knows boxing, probably, uh, probably going to be fight of the night. Uh, Terry's aware of that and, and, and which is great. More eyes watching. Let, let, let's just hopefully get out and get the job done. We've got no other plans for anything else. No other plans 
or discussed any other fights. We just want to get this job done. Uh, we've done things a lot different this time. And, uh, yeah, we're, ju we're just striving to be better than we were last time. Great stuff. Well, obviously, I wish you the very best for the rest of the fight Thank week. You. It doesn't send you Thank too you. crazy. Uh, once you get out of yep. isolation, you should be fine. And You've had a lovely for, interview for with me to, today. To Terry as well, of course. Yeah, thank you. Cheers, Danny. Well, I really appreciate it. It's been great. No problem. Thank Cheers, you. Mate. See you soon. Bye-bye, mate. Bye-bye.